fake Mona Lisa at the Louvre. That's what the movie Glass Onion says. So in the movie The Glass Onion, a billionaire with more money than taste has a huge art collection, including that Rothko, which he decided to hang upside down, a Picasso, Hockney, which you can see right there, and a Mondrian, and a Basquiat. Basically, this guy has... Like, if he Googled famous edgy painting, that's what he has in his house. He's combined that with, like, really ugly self-portraits, including one of him as Christ Pantocrator and hideous glass sculptures. In other words, he's just a crass billionaire who collects art because it makes him feel smart. And he gets the Mona Lisa on long-term loan because the French government needed to raise funds during the pandemic. So how realistic is it that there is not the real Mona Lisa at the Louvre? So the Mona Lisa had been stolen in the early 1900s by this guy, and it did get all the way to Italy. Now, there's always these conspiracy theories that says that the one that's in the Louvre now is a copy and that the real one did just disappear in 1911. And lots of people think that the real Mona Lisa is in the basement of the Louvre because why would you put real art out? But that is patently false. All of museums, their funding is based on having the real art out in the public. They're all about access. They solve it with the Mona Lisa by putting it behind bulletproof glass, but it is the real one there. And they have to certify it's the real one to continue to get their funding. Everything that museums have has to be real. And if it's not, they have to say it's not real, it's a copy, so that they do not lose their funding. So a billionaire like the guy in Glass Onion or Elon Musk, say, probably couldn't get the Mona Lisa. But that said, most art that's stolen has already got a buyer. Billionaires, like oligarchs in Russia, for example, pick things they want and they are stolen. So the Glass Onion isn't all that far-fetched.